Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is um, Christmas stuff. And uh, yes, f food is involved. <laughs> so um, everything that's out here is uh, brought to you by my parents. And then whatever's in this bag is uh, brought to you by my uh, my grandmother. So let's, let's uh, yeah, get into something because I do this every year anyway. And I don't know why you people would care, but I need a video. So, uh, first, uh, we have the most amazing present you could give. Uh, we, we have a, a free bag of, uh, Lay's Kettle Cooked Sea Salt and Vinegar Flavor Chips. We, we have some Energizer batteries. Triple A, by the way. Or double A, my bad. And then we have, from CVS Pharmacy, more double A batteries. Um, ooh, ooh, re really needed this one. Got some razors for Christmas doesn't love that who, who does, does does not love that I'm being sarcastic about this but but really I, I did need those so and now um, there's a bunch of little stuff in here mostly food that I just brought the whole stocking up for we have a lot of Hershey kisses they're all the same flavor despite them being different packaging um, we have a Hershey bar we have Icebreaker's Mints. We have the, the mini version of the Hershey bar. We have a Three Musketeers, another mini version of the Hershey bar, and the rest are Hershey Kisses. Ooh, ooh, walnuts snuck in there. Um, anyway. Um, so first, we have a shirt with Lehigh Valley Phantoms on it, which... Probably is the closest AHL team to my house, most likely. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and here we have a, something that's really cool. It is opening day, April 18th, 2000, yes. Uh, 1923. Uh, obviously the opening day of Yankee Stadium. And it's a commemorative thing. They made a hundred thousand of these, which seems like a lot, but you, you know, uh, it's actually not. Uh, here we go. Certificate of authenticity. Unfor unforgettable. I actually said that first try. Has created seven opening day baseball stadiums. It is hereby certified that each day of Minnesota is produced as a limited edition run of a hundred thousand pieces. No other. Uh, Design and created by Emily M. Wolfson. Thank you, Emily M. Wolfson. And, uh, here is the ball opening day, Yankees versus Red Sox. Uh, we have some Bhutani ties, uh, if anyone cares. We have some Calvert. Can't read what it, what the rest of that is. Here's the other part of it. Price is 15 cents. Uh, really wish we're still somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, parking is $40. Um, so yeah, that, that's just... Uh, Shown how it's changed. Parking is forty dollars, and uh, of course it's also opening day. But this is also opening day. Opening day here was fifteen cents. Opening day this year, the cheapest ticket I could find was eighty nine dollars. So yeah, not opening day isn't really happening this year. Although I am free that day, the fact that the cheapest one was eighty nine dollars, nah, nah. And, uh, but the second game is also a day game, and I'm still in spring break during then. So, you know, probably gonna go to that, because that's actually a $5 game. It, it's weird, the, the range between opening day, $89, second game, is $5. Next, we have some NASCAR stuff. We have the championship hat with the cup on it, uh, for, obviously, Martin Truex Jr. For entry roll racing, you have part of the NASCAR logo on the back. And uh, new era, and what I find really cool. Obviously, you, you guys can't feel it, but maybe you can see it a little bit. That this is a little bit different material, and uh, I don't know, like felt. I guess maybe just just a guess. I noticed that like it, the hat is normal, but then they put on the extra material on the top as another layer, which I don't know why anyone would find that interesting, but it's whatever. What else do we have? Uh, keeping with the NASCAR theme, we also have Truex 
shirt. Uh, yeah, there we go. NASCAR Monster Energy Series Champion 2017, Martin Truex Jr. And is this the back? I think that's the back of it. Um, here is the front of it. And yeah, there it is. Um, so I guess we should, I have some other stuff. I guess since I'm already on NASCAR, I should stick with it. Well, obviously we have some more die cast here, which is what you guys are accustomed to. Um, first we have the, this is all wave nine, by the way. First we have the Clint Boyer Darlington car, the Carolina dealers. Something I was a little bit disappointed is I have six cars here. I'm going to show them one by one, reveal them. But one thing I didn't get was, I forget what wave this from, but the Casey Kane Darlington car. And the reason why I'm disappointed at that is because I've seen that in stores before when I've been there. But I didn't get it because I, because you know, I assume my parents were going to buy lots of die casts, which they did. But I didn't get it because I assume that I've seen that so much at like Walmart and everything. It's, I assume that that'd be one of the ones that I get for Christmas. But then I asked my parents and they said that they didn't even see it once. <sighs> so I, I could have bought that Casey Kane car so many times or so long ago, but I didn't because I assumed that'd be here, but no. So uh, hopefully it's still somewhere in a store. Here we are, here's the hood for it. And here's the car itself. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I forget what this is supposed to be modeled at after, unfortunately. But, really cool. Um, I have entered all these holograms as well. And the shirt and the hat also did have NASCAR holograms. So next we have... I already started opening it. Next we have Brad Keselowski Fitzgerald Glider Kits car. And I'm getting really efficient with opening these, opening these with one hand. And we have the the hood. Here it is. And the car, of course, of course. The nice green car. And actually, I think this is probably one of the best paint schemes I've seen out of Brad Keselowski, despite the fact that it's really, really bright. I don't know, just something about it I've, I really like. Of course, I like most of the die casts that they put out. This one is bent in half already. But this is a Ryan Reed FC Xfinity series, his normal Lily Diabetes car. And is it? it has a card, so I wonder if it's supposed to be modeled after a specific race or not. I would guess so, because they also have a tire mark right there on the side. Could it be his Daytona win from this year? It could be. Usually if it has a card, it's modeled after a race, so... Time we're getting the car out first. So here we are. Like I said tire mark. This definitely is modeled after a race. Look at how much fake damage is, especially on the bottom of that car. What's the other side look like? Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So now let's take a look at this card. And also, I don't think the hood is supposed to be like that on the top. Maybe it is for Xfinity cars. So, yeah, there we are. Reed Masters Daytona, second time. Rustin on driver Ryan Reed proved that he is a NASCAR Xfinity Series season opener on Daytona, all figured out. <laughs> Third time in just two years, Reed put number 16. Lee Diabetes, Ford Mustang. In victory lane, I'm so excited. Reese after the race. I knew if it didn't run. Two perfect laps with however many blocks I had to do in those two laps, I'd be standing here. So if this is modeled after the 2017 win, um, I, I have 
um, a little bit of an issue because this is the old spoiler here. This is supposed to be modeled after the 2017 version um, that you you could barely even see the spoilers at Daytona. Just saying that they're very tiny spoilers and they, they completely got rid of like the little wings or flaps at the end uh, like this here. So next we have Jimmy Johnson's number 48. Lowe's car that he ran during the Coke 600, I guess this one is. Memorial Day. And this one's actually a magnet. I like it. I like the variety we have going here. We have two more after I finish with Jimmy here. So here is the car, pretty nice, pretty nice, like I said, Coke 600, yep, NASCAR salutes, that's definitely Coke 600. One thing I don't see, however, is the nameplate above here, not even the fact that it doesn't say Johnson, but uh, also during the Coke 600 they had names of um, like military members, like sergeant, lieutenant, like stuff like that. I think Hendrick also has an issue in the video games with them not having the nameplates. I'm not sure why that is. But I have a Truex one up here from 2016 that has um, military members on it. So, uh, yeah, that's a little weird. Um, turn that over. Should have... To, oh, it's all the way over there. I was going to say, I thought we had two more, and then I realized the other one got thrown all the way over there. So anyway, this next one isn't NASCAR, although it was in the same wave, which is weird that they paired NASCAR with NHRA. But there it is. This one doesn't have, it's the only one that doesn't have a NASCAR hologram, because obviously it is not NASCAR. But it was in the wave, and you don't really see or maybe you do in some places I don't know but around me you really don't see a lot of NHRA stuff this looks like an, this is a much thicker magnet but it's another magnet and uh yeah John Force Racing here it is pretty cool stuff And, uh, yeah, I don't believe I have a NHRA drag race car until now. So now let's get the sixth and final die cast over here. There is more stuff to show up after this. 13 minutes already. Oof, so much of your time wasted. There's the open. There it is. Forgot that. Oh, I didn't even show off what it was before I opened it. But anyway, this is the Dale Jr. Ducks Unlimited car. And, uh, yeah, looks like another magnet. Okay, the car just fell out, so we'll show that off first. I think this was Texas. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think he ran this in Texas. However, they, they got the spoiler correct here, which they might have, but I don't even know if Cup ran this spoiler. Did they mix up this car? Well, no, they couldn't mix it up because that's the old Xfinity thing right here, but like, this makes sense for Texas with this short a spoiler, but did Cup run? I don't remember them running this short of a spoiler. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> um, that's weird. Maybe it is accurate, I don't know. I don't remember. But I didn't remember Cup running that short of a spoiler. So anyway, there's our six die cast. There's the rest of our crap. And there's more crap. Here we have a couple tickets, which are, I guess are official announcements on uh, future videos and events. Uh, we have the I Ironton. This is supposed to be Irontown because Allentown. I don't know. Um, 
Oh, it's a telephone company. Uh, it's indoor auto racing. Basically, they make the PPL Center, which is home of the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Um, and I also did a previous video from there for Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Um, they turned that into a small dirt track, which they actually do uh, a lot of that around the country, surprisingly, which I didn't even know about. I know they have a big one in St. Louis, and this series, it only has four events, but it it's like a northeast thing. It was in Trenton last month. Or technically still this month because it's December. And uh, January 6, 2018, we are going to the PPL Center for Indoor Auto Racing. It's a two-day event. I don't know if we're going to both days. We'll find out. We have some Red Robin coupons that we can't use because it's um, only offered in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and we have another one. As you can see, it looks exactly the same because we're going to another event, which is the actual hockey game on Friday, December 29th, which is four days away. Um, Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus Charlotte Checkers, which I didn't even know their name was Checkers. Um, I don't follow, I mean, I follow the AHL, but not as intently as I do like minor league baseball, for instance. Um, so yeah, what else do we have here? Um... This is the last thing from my parents, I believe. And then we'll get into the bag, which isn't much. I I think I already took... There was a card in there. I think I took that out because, you know, it doesn't really make sense to show a card because it's a card. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, anyway, as you can see, this is a bear shirt. I don't know when I would wear this. Although, I do like bears as a secondary team. I like all the Chicago sports as secondary teams. And this, now we're getting to the stuff my grandmother gave me, which isn't a lot, but we have, this is an Anthony Rizzo shirt. Obviously you can't tell right now. I just realized this is an actual World Series champion shirt as well. Hmm, so it's from last year. Uh, I like, uh, as you can see, the textures on that is actually really nice. Has a official... MLB postseason sticker on it, which is really, really cool. I might have to stick that somewhere because I don't know how much. I mean, obviously, a lot of stuff does have that sticker on it, but it's the first time I've ever seen a postseason sticker. I'm going to have to put this down for a second to uh, flip the shirt over. Okay, and we're back. Uh, here we are with the Rizzo. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What else do we have in here? Oh, I didn't take. Take the card out. That's card. Um, what else do we have? This is the last final thing we have. This is a New York Yankees ornament. Which I could put up right now. Um, or I can wait till next year. Ooh, another official sticker on it. Remember the neighbor kid who would just... Who would dismantle perfectly good toys and mash the parts together to create strange creatures. Orville Wilson was that kid and he still is after winning at our contest in elementary schools. And mother said one day he'll be working for Hallmark. She was thrilled when her prophecy came true and like any good mother said I told you so. Orville Wilson. So that was nothing about the ornament. <laughs> that was just something about Hallmark that I'm going to assume they put on everything they make. But yeah, that that is Christmas 2017. Um, now you guys know two of my future videos. I'm still waiting on, uh, something to charge my old phone so I can get it charged enough to import my videos. I have a lot of college basketball videos because I've been going to, I mean, when I say college basketball, it's division three, it's centenary college, um, centenary university. Now I forgot they changed it, but I have a lot of that on there. And plus I have the championship round at MetLife Stadium for my high school football team. Uh, which is unfortunate that's stuck on there because I can't upload anything. I'm still trying to find a way to charge the phone. But when I do, I'll make an announcement video and then shortly after videos will still still be pouring out. It would be kind of funny though if a bunch of football and basketball videos start coming out in the middle of the summer. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have to wait that long though. Hopefully it'll be very soon. So uh, thanks for watching guys. And this is 20 minutes of your life wasted. And I will see you all later. And actually, one more thing that I forgot I left downstairs. We have a, a pillow here, which is very soft, um, of New York Yankees. And uh, do you love how they took the time and effort to uh, get rid of all the ads?
except for the small ones like uh, State Farm and Budweiser and all the little sponsors over here. Anyway, I just ran upstairs so I'm out of breath. Uh, anyway, using visuals, I can tell that this was opening day 2016, obviously because it says opening day. And also because I know in 2016 they played the Astros, which uh, that definitely looks like the Astros right there. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. May have a view like this uh, in April. Don't know. Um, but yeah, I know I mentioned that earlier, but like, I do hope to go to at least one game at Yankee Stadium during my spring break. I know there's two of them, but as I mentioned, the first one's opening day, which is expensive. Uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching guys. That is really the end, unless I can think of anything else. And, uh, thanks for watching.